Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We have a very cheeky inside scoop, a little tea for you today. So this is the story of hashtag Team Martha. So a couple of days ago, I think like four or five now, the TikTok account at Soul Marluna posted a video that plunged the viewer into the middle of a seemingly hostile confrontation between Martha, a stewardess for American Airlines, and OP, whose name, it turns out, is Catherine. So Catherine and her mother were boarding a flight in Orlando, Florida, when Catherine's mother took issue with the way Martha was allegedly treating an older passenger who sat in front of them. One thing led to another, and Catherine started recording the confrontation as things started heating up. Martha can be seen in the video exhibiting a sort of tepid, short politeness, on the verge of sarcastic pleasantness, while Catherine grows increasingly blatantly frustrated. It's obvious the two are both upset. Let's review the footage real quick, as is tradition. Okay, then you don't need to come and assume that she's talking to you. She wasn't talking to you. And if you associate with that word, that's your problem, not ours. It's my choice. I can I can record if I want to. I can. Yeah, it's my right. I can record. And you guys are supposed to treat people like that? Instead to call the gentleman looking and we have a little child? Do the video, please. You, you're supposed to treat the client like that? Please, land out. Please. Do the video. Can we have a drink for the kids? So Catherine initially posted the video uh, on TikTok with a caption that read, We were treated horribly by Martha from American Airlines on our way back home from Orlando. She continued instigating an argument and we're kicked off American Airlines because she simply didn't like being filmed. She completely changed her attitude when I started recording. Martha, you know exactly what you did. Shame on you and American Airlines for kicking my mother and I off the plane with our four-year-old child. Never fly with American Airlines. Hashtag Martha. Hashtag Karen. Hashtag rude flight attendant. It seems clear that she had attempted to label this woman Martha, as many previous Karen progenitors were named, like Barbecue Betty or Barbecue Becky, excuse me, using her name as a sort of Karen-adjacent pejorative is what I'm getting at here. It seems evident that she expected to post this video and that the internet would kind of, you know, do its thing, hunting down and punishing Martha for her Karen indiscretions. Only that's not exactly what happened because <laughs> Catherine made, uh, in hindsight, maybe a bit of a silly miscalculation when she was predicting the internet's response. Over the past couple of years, the overwhelming majority of people successfully labeled a Karen have been, well, not workers just doing their jobs. In fact, a running theme on Public Freakouts Unleashed, main channel, go subscribe, has been a swell of videos where workers are simply refusing to put up with the rude, annoying, and disruptive behavior uh, that they used to. And, and trust me when I say the internet almost always sides with the worker. We know this. When the video started going viral, an overwhelming number of comments came pouring in siding with Martha, saying things like, Oh, is this your first flight? Or, no one gets paid enough to deal with this. It's impossible for any of us to be perfect every second of our workday. Hashtag Team Martha. Or, me running to the comments to make sure it's not I'm not the only one picking up red flags on lack of context and passenger premature drink requests. Uh, yeah, they caught that too. Each of these comments had thousands of likes, while comments defending Catherine and deriding Martha, Catherine's intended goal, seemed few and far between. So few and far between, in fact, that despite scrolling through at least 200 comments, I didn't find a single person who was willing to say a bad word about Martha, and dozens of other users adopted the Team Martha hashtag as well. After seeing her campaign against Martha wasn't quite going as planned, 
Catherine took to TikTok again to post a follow-up video, this time clarifying a bunch of the surrounding details and offering her side of the story. And this is where things get juicy. So let's see what she had to say first, and then we will pick it apart. So this is a response video to what actually happened in the video that I posted with the flight attendant. There's two sides to the story, and from the point where I was recording, it was too late, so you guys couldn't see what actually happened leading up to the altercation. When we boarded onto the plane, there was a gentleman in front of us putting his luggage away. As he was getting situated into his seat, Martha was yelling at him, hurry up, get situated, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, like being completely rude. My mom just said, can you be kind? The gentleman behind us, the one that Martha is speaking to, the flight attendant, he whispered into my mom's ear, Latinos with an attitude can stay in Orlando. That already ticked her off. As soon as she sat down, Martha kept walking back and forth, just smiling and laughing. She started her demo, she finished her demo, and when she was passing by, she, she got on her knees and she was like, did you just call me a bitch to my mom? My mom was like, what are you talking about? She was confused. She had her drink menu. She kept going back and forth, instigating my mom, like, oh, you said this? Oh, you watch, you will see. I will turn this plane around and you will go back home. We were just completely shook. By the time I started recording, you guys couldn't see what actually happened. She was ordering a drink. She was ordering water for my little brother. I understand that you get drinks up in the air, but that wasn't the issue. As soon as I started recording, you can see Martha that she's on her knees. She was saying things to my mom. As soon as I start recording, she gets up. She's acting all polite. Oh, we'll get the drinks situated. It wasn't about the drinks. It was not about the drinks. She lied and said that she was called a bitch. You were never called a bitch. And you, your partner, your flight attendant, knows what he said to my mom, that Latinos with an attitude stay in Orlando. We didn't start anything. That little comment, of course, would bother anyone. I can understand how a lot of people were frustrated. We all had to leave the plane. It wasn't delayed, but obviously time was, time is valuable to people. And I can understand how a lot of people were frustrated. I do apologize for that, but I'm not going to let I'm not going to let you disrespect my mom, my family, anyone, and then I start recording and you want to like switch it up. Okay, T Martha, hashtag T Martha, if, it, if that's what it takes, okay, that's fine. But I'm just explaining my side of the story and what actually happened. And if you need to get first class tickets to be treated with respect, because that comment came out of you first. Latinos with an attitude stay in Orlando because she said, can you be kind to the gentleman putting his luggage away? The drinks has nothing to do with the whole situation that happened, but the video just looks like completely out of context, which I'm explaining right now. And that's what actually happened. So Martha, you know exactly what you were doing, instigating back and forth, saying my mom called you a bitch when that didn't really happen. And you know that you were being racist, you and your partner. Okay, so here's where things take a twist, right? So as some of you may have already guessed from just watching that response, this follow-up video did not go over very well with the thousands of Team Martha stands who are now invested in this story. Let's consider everything she just said because I happen to agree that perhaps, uh, as one of the top comments in the follow-up put it, the math ain't math in here. For one thing, you'd be forgiven if you thought the timeline of events given in this story seems a little odd. Now, it's not as if no one has ever been or said or done anything racist ever, obviously, but for you to have on an airplane of all places encountered both a gratuitously, almost comically racist flight attendant and the rudest airline stewardess I've ever seen, all within your immediate vicinity on this plane within the first 15 minutes of boarding, and both triggered simply by your mother's attempt to stick up for a helpless old man, seems just a tad bit far-fetched on balance. Uh, more directly, I was drawn to the comment Catherine made at the beginning of the original video. Do you remember? She starts the recording by saying, You don't need to assume she was talking to you, and I'm sorry if you associate yourself with that word. Okay, then you don't need to come and assume that she's talking to you. She wasn't talking to you. And if you associate with that word, that's your problem. As you simultaneously see the stewardess getting up from what appears to be her knees, According to Catherine's timeline of events, this would have been the point where the stewardess had gotten to her knees and asked her mom if she had just called her an effing B. If Catherine is responding to that question by saying she wasn't talking to you, then we can 
pretty safely assume that Catherine's mother was indeed calling someone an effing bee. She said it. Which begs the question, who else would her mom have been referring to? Now, I've taken a lot of flights, folks, and at no point have I loudly referred to anyone on a plane with me in such a manner. You'd have to be really upset with someone, obviously, to say something like that. So, since she doesn't deny that she said it, on balance, then who was she talking to? If she wasn't talking to the stewardess, who was the only person we know the mother was arguing with, then who was she saying that about? There are obviously only two possibilities here, at least that I can see. Either she was talking about Martha, or she was talking to the other flight attendant who allegedly whispered racist nothings in her mother's ear while standing directly behind her earlier in the flight. Though I suppose we can't discount this possibility, her choice of the B word seems to hint that she was talking to a woman, and the race whisperer incident had happened several minutes prior, making the likelihood that he was the intended target almost zero. On top of that, Catherine distinctly claims that when Martha dropped to her knees to ask her mother if she had been talking about her, her mother said, what are you talking about? And said she was confused. And when she was passing by, She's, she got on her knees and she was like, did you just call me a bitch to my mom? My mom was like, what are you talking about? She was confused. This seems to suggest that her mother was pretending she hadn't said it in the first place. Even though we know from the beginning of the video and Catherine's choice of words that she certainly had. Therefore, it seems logical to assume that maybe Catherine was not being entirely truthful in her recounting of events. Though none of the commenters spent quite so much time elaborating on these outline discrepancies, they seem to generally feel that Catherine's side of the story was a little incoherent. Many of the comments simply read, hashtag Team Martha. Perhaps it was because the internet mob had already decided on their pro-Martha stance or because her story seemed off, but the internet was not convinced, and in fact her follow-up video only seemed to make things worse. Catherine has only posted a couple of times since then, and every comment is something to do with, you guessed it, hashtag Team Martha. So, in the end, Team Martha has prevailed. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, Martha has successfully avoided being Karened by the internet. Um, her co-worker, however, is apparently a flaming racist who whispers absurd things in passengers' ear on a regular basis and has never, in this day and age, in 2023, been caught or reprimanded for it. So, while I don't think that anything Catherine did is a cancelable offense, and Catherine, if you're watching this, we're just having fun here. This is low-stakes interpersonal drama. You didn't do anything serious. Um, we're just messing around, so don't take it to heart is all I'm saying. Uh, but this other guy, this flight attendant, somebody's got to track him down. All right, that's our story for today. I will keep my eye on the horizon for any updates or new tea to spill. Uh, but that's it for our show today. I will see you later. Toodaloo.